Now we'll take a look at how we can add a hyperlink to text-based content. I'm going to head to page four. I'm then going to turn off my grids and guides by pressing W. We don't need to see those at the moment. And I'm going to zoom into the lower section of the page where we have the footer to this article. And then I'm going to select the text in here. I do want to copy this. So I'm going to swipe over and copy all of that web address. Right click. I'll go and click on create new hyperlink from the bottom of the hyperlinks panel. It takes us back and gives us a link to our URL. And because the text was selected, it's put it in the address in there. Now it doesn't always do that. So that's why it's always handy just to copy the text for the URL. Uh, it doesn't need to be used anywhere else in the document. So I can turn off shared hyperlink destination. And then under character style, well, I don't want this underline appearance in here. So I'm going to change that from um, hyperlink to none. And with that done, I'll go up to the top and click OK. Again here, you'll notice if I hit my escape key in the hyperlinks panel, again, the name of the link is shown as the web address link in here. It's on page four. So again, if I was to left click on that, it would actually highlight and select the text in this case. And if I click on the green status symbol, I can check that the web address works, which it does. So that's how you create a text-based hyperlink to a web page.